my wonderful people. You will be shocked as the evil youth gives Soludo ultimatum, threatens to fill Anambra government's house with refuge if he refuses to resign. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. If you're joining us for the first time, kindly subscribe. And please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you all for always coming out here. May God bless you all. Let's quickly hit the news and get full details. The Igbo youths on the platform of Coalition of Southeast Youth Leaders have threatened to fill Anambra government's house with refuge over Governor Chukwu Masoludo's uncomplimentary remarks against the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. P2B. The youths, which have expressed disappointment in Soludo over the anti obi comments, gave the, the governor up till Friday, November 25th, to retract his words or brace up for the wrath of the Igbo youths. The Apex Igbo Social Political Organization, in a statement by its President General, Goodluck Ibram, said that time had come for unpatriotic Igbo politicians to be caught to size. We have set Friday, 25th November 2022, as a day we will carry refuge and dump them at the gate of Anambra State Government House to serve as a detriment to other Igbo political office holders who might want to insult the sensibility of the Igbo nation. Dumping of refuge in the house of anyone who committed sacrilege against his people is a traditional way of discipline and teaching lessons to anyone found wanting. The Igbo nation is a big and blessed nation that should not be toyed with by one single individual. That Governor Soludo is the, is, the, is the governor of Anambra State today is not his making, but is the making of God using Anambra people to vote him into office, my wonderful people. Look at now. The youths of uh, Anambra are calling out for Governor Soludo. They are calling out for his impeachment. I mean, ever since this guy came into office, as the governor of Anambra State, he hasn't done anything tangible for the state. He hasn't even introduced, you know, any tangible development to the state. Instead, what has Governor Soludo, you know, done? He has been trying to demolish uh, the, 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 the name of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, P2B. He has been spoiling his name from, you know, from one day to another. There is no day so, uh, Governor Soludo will not bring out an attack against P2B. In, in, in an interview, uh, Soludo dismissed uh, P2B's uh, investment in the state, saying that uh, the investment of a P2B, you know, is, um, uh, amounts to nothing. You know, he has been attacking P2B, saying that uh, the investment of P2B in the state, you know, amounts to nothing. And this brought, you know, several mixed reactions from Nigerians. They reacted to Governor Soludo saying, okay, fine, since you say, okay, it, it amounts to nothing, why not sell it to me? I am going to buy them. You know, this got so many, you know, Nigerians angry about the statement he made uh, towards uh, P2B. And now he even went on saying that uh, P2B will not win the 2023, you know, presidential election. That Peter will be coming out for 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 president for the position of the presidency is you know that he's toiling with the destinies of uh, Indibo, that he is threatening the, the the destinies of Indibo by coming out for the position of presidency. I mean, he has just been you know up and against Peter B all the time. He has said he's not going to you know vote for Peter B, that he will not support Peter B. He's just you know against Peter B. And it was even because of P2B that he became the governor of Anambra State today. After when P2B, you know, won the position of the governor under the Abgak party. After uh, uh, Obiano, and then he became the, 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 the next president, uh, the next uh, governor of the state. Ever since Oludo has came into power, he has done nothing for the state. When you go to the, when you go to Anambra State, you look at their roads. No development is, you know, done in anywhere. And now, the youths are calling for him. 
The youth have given Soludo ultimatum and threatens to fill Anambra government's house with refuge if he refuses to resign. Look at the big mess that Governor Soludo has landed himself in. However, Nigerians have reacted to this. Professor Chukuma uh, Soludo, your unguarded utterances and actions against Mr. Pitobi, your kingsman, doesn't speak good of you. Most Nigerians have been praying, asking Almighty God to give the country somebody that can make a positive difference in the area of leadership. Now Nigerians have seen that that man in the person of Mr. Pitobi, why would you like to work against the wish of most Nigerians? I would like to ask you to have a rethink over your negative move against Nigerians. Governor Soludo is a TFO. Barely six months in office, he has removed and sold over 500 Meccano generators that P2B installed in rural communities. As I type this message, there's a protest going on in all the communities that he removed their generators. My fear is that criminality will be on the increase, especially during this festive period. The president, security chiefs, the National Assembly should call him to order before he does more damage, you know? Hmm, Governor Soludo, it's a pity. He is a big disgrace, and for such insensible and unworthy comments, he passed over to his own kingsmen at this crucial moment in our political history in Nigeria. I don't know why some people would allow hatred or sentiment overshadow their reasoning as well as a well-educated fellow. Stupidity knows nobody. These are reactions from Nigerians. My people, since that Soludo came into power, he has done nothing. What he has been doing in, in, in Anambra State is to impose heavy, heavy taxes on the people impose heavy, heavy taxes on the people. And the people are complaining bitterly that the amount of taxes that they are paying now in Anambra State is too much on them. Yet, these taxes have, you know, nothing to show for. Governor Soludo haven't done anything in Anambra State. And this is not good for his reputation. This is just his first tenure as governor in An Anambra State. I mean, with this kind of attitude that he's bringing in, I don't think, you know, there will be a second tenor for him. And now look at the people are now calling for his impeachment over his unnecessary, you know, remarks against Pito B. The people are calling for his impeachment. This is where his words have landed him. Instead of him to focus on being the governor of Anambra State, he's peddling and meddling into the affairs of Pito B, you know, trying to paint him black. So guys, what is your take concerning this issue?